go. I really do. Um, I shouldn't have done this before we're live, but I think, are we live? I think we're live. I think we're live. <laughs> I think we are live. Okay, we're live. Hi, we're live, guys. But we're getting locked in. You know, here we are. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just like over here looking. We're just sitting trying here. to get my, my laptop going. So that way I can see things. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. That's a good idea. I really wish they would like figure out how to enable comments. Yes, me too. We're back. You know? Kelly Hi, Kelly. Hello, sister. <laughs> I agree. I wish that they. Light color. Light color. And we're gonna update that and we're gonna show that. There we go. At least we got a screen on the bottom. See if we wait for Hi Christy. Well looky there. We have our beautiful sister, Miss Casting Bombs in the house. What's up, girl? How are you, sister? How are you? We're just kind of uh doing a little like on the fly pop-up deal. Uh playing with our technology a little bit, <laughs> seeing what we can get happening, stuff and things. Right. What are you up to tonight? Hello, hello, hello. Daphne, I can't see that far now. I have trouble. I think I figured it out. Did you figure it out? I think so. <gasps> right. Now I got to like work on this guy here. Okay. <laughs> Get a little swap -a -roo. I guess that works. I think that's perfect. Voila. 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 Dale, good okay. evening. Hello. You've heard my, I've been thinking about you. You guys have been on my mind. My mind. I'm like, cacao, cacao. Okay. I can see comments. I think there's probably a lag, but at least I can see them. Yay. Yay, that's positive. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> thing. This is a good thing, you guys. This is a good thing. So we tried the TikTok thing. We tried to go yeah. over and do the little TikTok thing and that kind of uh I don't have enough followers, guys. <laughs> yeah, we got we gotta everyone get, get over there and follow her so that we can come together. Right? You know? We can get our TikTok on. It's so silly. And there we go. Now I don't feel so like in your face. I'm not like, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> In the fishbowl. <laughs> well, then that's why I've been thinking of you because you've been thinking of me. Or have you been thinking of me because I've been thinking of you? That is the question. But I'm convinced. I am convinced that when we think of somebody randomly, they are thinking of us at the exact same time. But the question is, who is the one that initiated the thought? I don't know. <laughs> First, the chicken or the egg. It's a mutual aligning of energies. Or exactly. Maybe just that mutual, like, and then, like, the paths crossed, and then you both get the spark and remember you all. Go back and see. Or all. I don't know. Anyway. Welcome. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How's every And Katie in the house. Katie, hello. Katie Clue. Hello. hello, Katie Clue. You guys, have you seen me looking over here? It's because I'm trying to read the comments. From my laptop while I'm on my phone. Wait. Over here. Wait, wait, wait. You know, it's like ping pong action. I dun, 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 dun. Holy cow, I see guy seeing Ashley Matthews. Ashley Matthews. Whoa. Oh my God. Hello, sister. Hello. Girl, what is up? Oh my gosh. I love all these ladies here today. It is this is amazing. 
this is awesome. It's, even Princess started like, woohoo, in the bedroom. She started uh, talking to She's so great. I love it. I love it. How is everybody doing on this fine, 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 fine evening? Well, we're going to have some fun. We've decided that we were feeling the energy. We are, well, first off, Mary Jo, like, I mean, she was explaining to me what we're actually feeling. <laughs> yes. Yikes. No wonder. Oh, my gosh. There is this. so much we're feeling. I mean, really. A lot happening in the planet, you guys. A lot happening in the, the yes, a girl's night. Yay. Yes, right. I just saw that, Kelly Jones, girl's night. And boys, though, we got Dale in the house. We, got we do have Dale. Yes. Girls and yes. Boys, brothers and sisters. We're of all like minded, right? <laughs> That's right. So, uh, we decided to pop on and have a little fun. We're going to do little one card pulls, take turns back and forth to those we're drawn to. Uh, if you want a specific, this is just sort of for fun, general little card reading. If you guys are wanting something in depth or you want from both of us, uh, you know, how we like to do um, right. a specific, like question, you want a little more in depth. We're also doing our VIP readings, which is, you know us, okay, guaranteed two cards from each of us, so four, but right. you know how we roll, you know how we roll, that's, you know spirit and us and yeah we're all about the abundance so just saying that's available exactly. this wonderful evening as well so i see miss dawn in the house as well hello darling dawn, hello. and teddy and my Katie. nice to see you fellas right <laughs> hello thank you for showing up thank you for showing up thank you thank you thank you so I'm feeling drawn to Miss Katie. Miss Katie. To Miss Katie? Katie? Yes. I agree. Can we just make her a VIP? Okay. We were instantly drawn to her. So I think that that, like, I mean, why is it even a question? Like, really? Was it a question? Of, like, All right. Miss Katie Cliff, you are VIP <laughs> you know, today. Ever Thanks, the ancestors and your spirit guides. <laughs> yes, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Katie. I mean, if, if you if you would like. I mean, you don't, you don't. Right. The, right. Oh, you don't want to. Okay. Yay. She's like, yes. Okay. Yes, she yes, wants to. Uh, okay. Right. It was ladies night. Ma, 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 feeling right. Ooh, no, I got the precesses of no. light coming in. I mean, what I will say, it is, it is definitely that feminine energy, though, you guys. Whether we're male or female, we all carry that feminine within us. And there is a balancing happening. And that is definitely... It's a part of this energy that we're feeling. So exactly, exactly. We are bridging. We are balancing. Tanya in the house. Hello, sister. Hello. Oh my goodness, goodness, y'all! I am so. This is awesome. Like, thank you guys for coming and showing up. Like total unexpected, just you know, felt like like we should just do it, do the thing, you know. Do it, pop up. One of our favorite, most spontaneous favorite things to do is those. Exactly. We used to have the Friday night co mediums. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was fun, right? That was good times. That was good times. Mediums were hilarious. That was good times. You know, who Ooh, knows goodness. what be resurrected in the future? I'm just saying, peeps. I'm just saying. You never know. You never know. You never know. I definitely have cards flying out already. Okay, baby. All right. I'll let you. Uh, yes. Fly. I'll let you fly with it. Synchronicities are amazing, aren't they? You're not. You're the second one talking about synchronicities today, or on the show. This this evening so uh yeah like whoa though miss katie cliff like girl you want to talk about some goddesses and some priestesses coming in to like make you aware of some things like 
Jamaica and I just got done before we got on live, like in our little green room, you know, like the before scenes, right? The, the behind the scenes, if you will. Um, I was telling her about the retrogrades and the way that, okay, mind you, five planets already. We're about to have six in retrograde. So just, just bear with the planets. Okay. Number one, just bear with the planets, but it is all about reclaiming your power and owning and accepting your shadow side and pushing through and integrating those new responsibilities and ideas that you have, expanding your knowledge of your own capabilities based on you choosing courage over fear. And that is, that's like blowing my mind with these cards right now. Okay. Because first of all, Card number 47, River of Blessings, Releasing Constraints. Miss Katie Clip, you are literally like, okay, so you know in, in the end of Aladdin, okay, when the genie finally gets free, okay, and he's like up in the air and his chains start falling off, that is you right now. Like you are being elevated and celebrated. Oh, it's like making me cry. Um, by your ancestors and your guides, girl, you have been doing so much internal work that they're like, okay, you know what? It's time. Lift her up like freaking Simba. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the Lion King, girl, this is all about, look, this is your next card, death and rebirth darkness to light this is you literally stepping into a brand new beautiful aspect of yourself and holy shit girl like oh it's you know it's after five i can i can say shit right <laughs> but like girl it is intense like this this feeling in my heart center right now is so intense it's like it's like you literally handed your inner child the gift of its own freedom that's what I get from these cards. Whew. Like, wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, I know why we had to come over here to Facebook now. Now I know why we <laughs> had to just, and this is just the kickoff. This is just the kickoff of it, you guys. So just saying, whoo, girl, like, uh, Katie, sister, my beautiful everything that she just i can't even as you guys were over here i don't know if you see me about just my my energy <laughs> exploding because first off drawn straight to the lemurian deck for her right away this is part of that awakening you are a lemurian seed you are literally the answer to our ancestors prayers <laughs> okay everything miss mary joe just just touched on i'm like who right coming from look at the, even the arms up hands up breaking the shackles off that you just described the genie i mean literally look at this card i want you to actually look at this card closely right because wow. this is the lumerian energy coming in what you said you're feeling that stuff <laughs> you said you're feeling you're feeling it this is why you're feeling it because you're part of the light Grade, integrating the light, clearing away, breaking those chains. You're doing the work. You've been doing the work. And you beautiful sister, you are lighting it up for yourself. But you are also lighting it up for, oh, yeah, wait, here it comes. Oh, wait, wasn't it those ancient ancestors you were talking about? Our ancient future. You are a part of, like I just said, right? The answer to our ancestors prayer, you are a planted seed here, but that ancient, the ancient wisdom of Lumeria, the ancient remembering of who you are, who, who we are, is our future. You are a part of that future. Oh my goodness. Sweetheart, you need to get yourself if you don't have them yet, set the intention now because there's crystals calling you. There's energy calling to you that will come yes. to you right now. And if you do already have them, now is the time you're being called to sit with those crystals, sweetheart. You sit with your Lumerians. There's activations happening right now. This stuff Mary Jo's talking about our stars and our planets and our <laughs> understanding all of this, you guys, it's so much bigger. 
so much bigger. Oh, man. Bigger than we can even fathom. Ancient stuff that's coming with it, right? They're remembering it. And I love because Mary Jo, that's part of her beautiful gift here. She sees that bigger picture. She sees that new way of seeing energies. And that's part of what you're here for, Katie, too. That's part of your... Oh, she definitely has the bridging energy for sure. Right? Like... So, girl, you get your Lumerian crystal and you meditate with that and you activate with that. And you, you know, that this is what we're called for now as light workers. OK, we, we we're we're it's great to get on here and help each other and light each other up and come together in community. But this self care, keeping your energy high, your life force energy vibration at that high energy yeah, is doing more work behind the scenes than you could even imagine. You're doing consciously, even honestly, like even when we're consciously aware that we're doing the light work, we still right. it's so great. The well, and she is definitely one that makes choices of intention. Like she truly absorbs the information before she just goes and makes a decision. Like she's very um, intuitive in that nature because it's not just like, you know, what's best for her, but it's also what she can do to serve the whole, the collective, which is, I mean, it's just beautiful in its own right. But exactly. the way her intentions line up, it's like, whoo, Katie, flip, girl, like, man, way to start the show. <laughs> Yeah, like, boom, like, that's her. Like, look at that energy for us. Just so, like, yep. Um, Seriously. Energy to be reckoned with in a good way of that light. You right. Know, that light. And, oh, girl. No. Oh. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, Katie, for letting us read your energy. We love you so for, much, Miss Katie Clapp. Thank you for soft, man. What a start. Woohoo! That was fun. Right? <laughs> Seriously, it. girl. No holds bar right there, man. <laughs> I told you all the Lumerians came out. Look at this even, you guys. Even in found this. Oh. So oh my goodness. All, wow. Like representing the Lumerian energy, this resurrection of this ancient wisdom that is coming into this planet right now is phenomenal <laughs> just saying so hi dj i think it is i can't see that far away i think it's dj i was gonna say it looks like a capital d i so oh, die smith yeah okay. die smith d i i'll call you Dee. i don't know why i just feel like i want to call you Dee. There you go. I like that. That's <laughs> How are you doing, Didi? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. And we also have Michelle in the house. Michelle, Michelle. Hello. Michelle, I see Hi. that. Hello, beautiful. Okay. Where were we? We're uh, picking another name. Picking another name. Who are we drawn to? D is my nickname. Well, well isn't say, that interesting? <laughs> I would say that would be our sign. Here's your sign. Let's see. Do we have another name? And no, that's my nickname as we call out. So I would say, D, you're on deck if you would like a card pull. Of I think so. Would you like to? Just need to let us know. Miss Kelly Jones is bringing in Alicia. Nice to see you, Alicia. Hello, Alicia. Welcome. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you guys for Thank you for the stars, here. you guys. That is amazing. Oh, we got stars? What? Yes. Wow. It looks like Miss Jenny sent oh, stars. Thank you, Miss Jenny. Thank you, thank you. See, I can't that part. See I that? I'm already having cards jump out. Oh, boy. All right, decent. <laughs> yeah, so. Of course. Of course it's this one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. 
<laughs> I love you, Teddy. Says, if you can't get no crystals, just drink yourself a Coke and talk with uh, Archangel Michael and the other right. angels, and it's cool. You got it. It's cool. Like totally fine. It works. For Which I mean, well. really, like we've all been there. All right. <laughs> it's true. Like I love. Just it. sit like, down. Break out the archangels and be like, bros. What's the problem? I, I need some guidance. What's the problem? I love They're it. right there to help. They're on this, you know. Thank you. Thank anywhere, you. all the time with anybody. They ain't gonna get tired. You ain't gonna be taken away from anyone. Exactly. Oh, Miss. Oh, I see Miss Sarah Moonchild in the house. Ooh, girl. We both seen her at the same time. I think we're like, oh. Ooh, there's an alignment for you. I love it, right? Uh -huh. I would say some alignment. I love I it. Here. Okay, Dee Dee. I got a card for you, a jumper. Yeah, Michelle, hashtag jumper. You seen it flying, huh? So, and go, you want to talk about flying. Are you ready for this? I can't even right now. Pull it back just a smidge. It's a little too close. Wings oh, of gosh. light. Oh, my Becoming goodness. Becoming something new. <laughs> oh, wait. Wasn't that like... A powerful time of personal transformation. Perhaps even total transfiguration, D. Okay, this is you literally saying, you know what? And I'm sorry if this gets offensive, but I'm fed up with my own BS. I am fed up with choosing everyone else's happiness above my own. I am fed up with branding myself an iron shackle wearing lady, or I'm not sure if you are a lady. I'm not sure. I can't tell by your, by your profile picture, but whatever it be, whatever human you are, <laughs> You have been chained by your own making. And this is kind of just like Katie Clips card where you are setting yourself free. You are handing yourself the gift of your own freedom because you're finally learning to use that throat chakra. You're finally learning to express yourself. All of that anger that you have had built up inside you is just you on the inside kicking and screaming because you're not treating yourself properly. These priestesses are telling you that it is time to raise up and move forward. Open up to the light of your true inner power, your eternal self, that big S self that true beautiful nature of who you really are with this Uranus right now in retrograde, we are being thrown chaos after chaos. It is your duty to yourself to align above the chaos. Use the chaos to create magic because no matter what it is a force, it is an energy and you right now have the ability to transmute it and use it to your betterment. So don't let those moments where you feel so empowered pass you by because those moments of empowerment is what I like to call we power because that is power that you are introducing into the collective to help the rest of us elevate, to be seen as a beacon for the rest of us to look up to and say, you know what? I can too. That's who you are, D. You're the little engine that can. So get chugging, babe. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that. Boom. Chugga, chugga, chugga. Sarah, thank you. You know, I love, you know, she's like, hey, what's your hashtag? I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. We used to do hashtags, huh? That was a thing. That's something we could. <laughs> oh, we, we don't even have hashtags. hashtags. We, can we can do that. We can do that. New Zealand in the house. Hello, New Zealand. Welcome, welcome. That's over on um, YouTube. So you're probably not going to awesome. that. We have well, hello there, YouTube New Zealand. Love it, love it. Alicia says, what, what, mic drop. Oh, that's Kelly Jones. Says that to Alicia. 
D says spot on. Okay. Okay. So you're obviously hearing it. Okay. So that is what I love about how these messages align because it's most likely something you've been telling yourself for a while. And finally you just needed someone else to be like, Hey, time to get off the pot. All right. You've been sitting down a little too long. All right. I'm pretty sure you, uh, you need to wipe. Um, so let's move on. Let's let's start with the next step. Let's wipe and move on. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Time to move forward. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, do we want to do a hashtag and take a few at a time? Or yeah, do we can totally do that. Do do? All right. What should our hashtag be? Um, Michelle says divine two by fours. Ah, <laughs> uh, did you see those earlier? I was having those earlier, like. Man, I tell you, you know, it's funny. I was moving two by fours earlier, so that's pretty funny. <laughs> you know, I'm building a garden bed. What you gonna do? <laughs> I love it. Let's see. What could I? Mary, don't get out of my head. Kelly says that I love it. Um, Sarah, I'm needing to put my cat. That's something, Sarah. Um, well, I will. Since I can, you read the comments. Do you see that comment? I'm. I am reading. Oh, okay, you are able to see it. Okay, good. Yes, I think I have a little bit of a lag over there, but I think for the most part, I'm. I'm seeing them. Okay, on uh, YouTube too. Uh, just on Facebook. Okay, so you're not catching the YouTube from Sarah. right. <laughs> Sarah says Tuesday trouble. That kind of fits. That's pretty fit. No, I mean, that, that's, that's you know pretty spot on. I gotta say. Um, Teddy says hashtag Earth Warriors. Find our titles that I lost 10 months ago. Oh my gosh, did you see Michelle's? She says, This retrograde helped me finally find titles that she lost 10 months ago. I, you know I mean? they come up remember what I was saying earlier like, this is going to start bringing up stuff that we've forgotten about. <laughs> you know what's funny is me too, actually. There's some stuff just today I had to deal with it. Like, I started months ago that didn't get finished the paperwork at the dmv and now they're like finally catching up and i having to get it all finished up today like how funny is that that is like, oh my oh. gosh see i got a, i got a memory on facebook uh yesterday or day before yesterday something within this last week anyway <laughs> about my divorce <laughs> And I'm like, that was one of like my biggest tasks that took so long to complete. Right. But I think once I actually completed, it was like a weird unlocking feature of like a video game. Okay. Like I got divorced and I can, cause I'd been trying like, you know, like trying right to get divorced for like six years <laughs> and you know, you just let things get away from you one reason or another you know it's it was more of like a like a protection thing but that's a whole that's a whole therapy session and a half later okay <laughs> it was definitely a protection thing um but once i actually completed that task like i said it was literally this unlocking feature that was just like I should be doing this more often, not getting divorced, but completing the process of things. Okay. <laughs> you know, but completing the process of things because in reality, right? Like even through my lineage, my, my sisters have trouble focusing and completing the tasks. It's just something that runs in my family. And so I had to make that conscious decision for myself to be like, Hey, it's, it's time to move on. You know, like we got to choose something different for this continuation of our lineage. Like I'm not, I, I just have this feeling, you know, you have that deep intuitive feeling like that something needs to be changed. 
and no one else is going to change it. It's, it's up to you. And so when you have those empowering, cause it really is an empowering feeling when you're like, crap, it is up to me. Like it is, it's my time. It's, it's my button to press, you know, it's my rocket to launch. <laughs> you know what I mean? At some point you have to be the one that's like, no, I, I it's my trigger to pull. Yep. And then shift bang, boom, baby. <laughs> uh, well, like you said, I love that. It is very empowering to step it into is. those things. Well, and it's like, it's yeah. even if it's something small, you know, like I was saying earlier in our, in our, just our little chat, when even if you choose something small, like just for a week, make your bed when you wake up in the morning, you know, completing those small tasks every day, even if it's just that one week goal, it gives you a sense of accomplishment. And in turn, it starts kind of rewiring your brain a little bit to be like, you know, I can accomplish these things. I can do what I want and what I set out to do. You know, it, even if you have to start small, it's, it's worth it, you know, to yeah. start and complete the task. And bigger and bigger. And next thing you know, just like pushing that boulder up that hill. Right. It, right. Yeah. It's definitely the snowball Ooh. effect. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Building of energy. I love it. Okay. So we have actually, I want to address really quick Sarah, Sarah Lennon, who is over on YouTube is she had a question because she's um, having an issue with her kitty that she has to put down tomorrow. And she is wanting to know if she should be present at the situation or not, because she had herself quite a traumatic experience in the past with her other cat when that happened. Uh, I don't know if you have anything for her, but what I would like to say is if you would, uh, it's something to me that feels very uh, personal in that sense that I would love, I would, I would love to be willing to work with you a little bit. If you would like to email me even um, or message me here on Facebook, but you're over on YouTube. So I don't know. Uh, you can go to the website and message me on my email or it's, it's just earth angels have been sent at gmail.com. Um, if you do that right now, as soon as I'm done with the show, I'll connect with you and uh you know, we could do some energetic and send some healing and some love for both of you guys through that, you know, that um, experience. But what I will say is it's such a gift to, to get to be the human um, love of an animal and the animals, the, the love they give us and to get to just be that steward in their life for that period and that time. And to, you know, it is not easy, that transition. But what I know about energy, even in our animals, is that it never is gone. It's always just transforming and moving on. And they come in and out of our lives in a physical form, but they stay with us in that spiritual form, even as they you know, as they go. And it is actually really, even though it is sad, it's not to take away from the sadness or the the tra traumatic effect that it can have on our lives because it is, we miss them so much, but it also can be such a really blessing, a beautiful blessing if we can pause and just think about what an honor it is to, I mean, if you've ever been present at a birth, right? When we're bringing a life in, the joy and the excitement. Well, that same thing for them when they transition into that new realm, that new world, there's this beautiful joy and excitement and wonderfulness that they're, they're walking into and getting to be that bridge of that human love and them exiting this 3d earth and moving forward is, is a, it's just beautiful whether you're able to be there in physical form or not. Does it really make the matter? The fact that you have that love in your heart is the, the energy and that effect of that that is going to carry you guys together through this no matter what that choice is for you. So right, right. Well, and I think it's, it's equally important to understand that we get a choice to change the energy from past traumas 
And so, you know, if, if you can find the courage to be there, then I think that it will serve a purpose when it comes to transmuting that energy for you. And, you know, it, it could absolutely have the ability to be a different energy, a different experience for you and for the animal, you know, who's to say that animals don't reincarnate, you know? So to, to help, like Jamaica said, kind of act as like a steward to kind of usher that energy forward and into its next plane of existence is really an honor and something that is, is very brave to be a part of. Um, but again, us being human, we have that free will choice, you know? So you can absolutely choose to send love from afar. If your physical existence cannot be there, we know that energy can go through space time, right? So either way that, that part of you, that extension of you, because you do feel this connection with that cat, with that animal, um, you know, it's, it's going to, to be a healing either way. I feel as long as your intention is that is to make sure that this experience isn't so traumatic for the both of you, that it is more of that healing process. Does that make sense? hundred percent. Okay. Yeah. You know, our, our power of our intention and, and that just like what you said, you know, rather than identifying with the past, not to deny the past trauma, but right. we don't have to relive the past trauma. We do now from a place of a different understanding get to, like you said, you know, we right. can that love ahead. We have a little more understanding. You now have a little different experience of an understanding of perhaps how these things kind of transition and go. And so right. we're not that same person, right? I love it. Miss uh, Ashley says, right? This is exactly what we were talking about. Transforming the darkness to the light, right? So using, That's right. The love, using the light to shine onto our fears. And, and, and again, like, I, however that looks for you, that, that's something you have to look at and say, is it from afar or is it right there or what? But just anchoring in that love. Yeah. Intention is going to shift that for you. And again, if you want to message me and you want to give me some dates and times and energy, I can, I'll can i send some Reiki for you too and send some energy to help along both of you guys. That's that's another beautiful thing. Yes, right? absolutely. Energy is a time traveler. We were just talking about that today too. Let's warn your drink before we came in, right? It doesn't, it's not bound by anything. And so the past, the future... I can even send some healing to your past trauma to help you release that past trauma. Right. And be able to move into this, this with a new, new perspective as well. So, yeah, I mean, this whole year has really been, like I said, kind of cleaning out your closet, including the skeletons, you know, so that's even things that you thought you were over. You I'm over. I'm done with it. That's past news, old news, what have you there's something still there if it's coming up during this time. So don't shun it, just accept it and try to learn from it. And that goes with like everybody, all situations, just that's a generalized notion right there. <laughs> Boom. Right. Everyone. Right. right. Exactly. All right. So what should we, since we got like so much planets in retrograde, should we be like hashtag retrograde? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Right, though? Oh. Hashtag look within, probably. Oh, I like that. Look within. Yes. Hashtag look within. All right. So let's do hashtag look within and we'll take the first five. Five? Five. five? Okay. Yeah. I like fives. <laughs> you know me. I like fives a lot. <laughs> yeah, me too. I like the fives, too. Well, my life is always shifting. <laughs> I'm attracting big changes. <laughs> I like that. And, of course, as always, if you guys would like to um, guaranteed get on VIP and get some extra cards and extra loving, this is get just that VIP. We're going to kind of tag team back and forth one card each, you know. But if you want That's uh, right. both of us and all of that, we have that available, too. And our uh, PayPal is... Oh, I don't even have it in there. I guess I should Somewhere. put that in there. Yeah, I should probably put that in there. That would be a good idea. 
So real quick, I wanted to see, uh, I wanted to say hi to big brother. Yona is in the house. I just saw his comments and he sent some stars. So thank you so much, brother. We love you. We appreciate you. I'm so glad you got to come and check in on us. You know, us, us youngins. <laughs> uh miss miss kelly jones asked if i saw alicia's comment um uh, going back i'm going back i'm going back i started my divorce one week ago girlfriend i am telling you right now like alicia <laughs> once i like <sighs> Okay, so when I turned in my divorce paperwork, you guys, it was like, like I said, it was such a, a release, um, but I literally threw up, okay? Like, it was that much of a release, all right? This had been from a marriage in 2013 till 2020, 2020. yeah, because it's been two years. So 2020, y'all, that's a long time. That's a long time to stay stuck in some trauma ass BS. Okay. Like, like I said, my, my ego was allowing me to believe that it was a protection mechanism. Um, but like I said, that's a whole therapy session and a half later. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was a lot of internalizing and hashtag looking within to really understand that, like, it wasn't protecting me. It was holding me back. It was limiting my abundance, my existence, my experiences. So the the only can, thing I can say is, Alicia, girl, freaking more power to you. Girl, and yeah. when you finally see the judgment, and you, and which is like totally a weird way of saying it, right? But that's the proper term for it, the judgment. Um, when you see that come across your hands and you read those words... It is going to be this, I mean, like I said, I threw up. <laughs> I know that's not everyone's experience, but it was literally years of emotions and inner turmoil and guilt and all of these achy feelings just bottled up inside for years, finally coming to the surface and being like, bro, yeah, high five, but uh, we got to get out. <laughs> like, okay, it's time for us to exit the building, Elvis. All right, it's our turn. So... <laughs> All of those feelings and emotions and like even the situations, you know, because you concoct situations in your mind throughout the whole time, like the what ifs and the well, I could have, you know, all of that compiled into one freaking energy ball that literally just spewed out of my body. It was so intense. But like I said, so freaking worth it because who wants to be under a thumb? even if it's your own, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be backed in a corner their whole lives. Nobody wants to be like, well, you know, if I was actually divorced, nobody wants to say that crap. Everybody wants that sense of freedom, but y'all, it only comes from one place, one place. And it is up to you to gift it to yourself. It's your happiness. It's your happiness. Right? Is your happiness worth it? You know, Use the energy. In, in any scenario, that's what I would ask. It, is it worth risking your happiness? Whether it's a job structure, whether it's another relationship, whether it's going to the grocery store and choosing donuts over salad, is your happiness worth the risk? Because if you know those donuts aren't going to do you good, even though they're going to taste good, maybe for that split second, right? Like, you know that there's other options out there that will suit your betterment and not add to your detriment. We got to, we got to overcome that, that fear of expanding who we are. The old patterns. It's a lot easier to stick with what's comfortable, but exactly the, the payoff once we, do like you see you know it's like it's uncomfortable to right. get there but man once you flip over to that other side all of a sudden it's like oh man why did i do that sooner what was i thinking right it's li like literally when the adhesive of a band-aid sticks to your skin you know you just gotta rip it off but then it feels so much better afterwards like yeah there's some pain 
yeah, it tore a little bit, you know, but maybe took a layer of skin off. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, you're feeling. <laughs> exactly. I just got the boop. That would be dead here in a second all of a sudden. Hold on. All right. Well, we've got a list of names going. Awesome. Got, let's see. I have Sarah, Miss Moonchild, Teddy, and Michelle. And I don't know if I missed anybody, though. Did you? Hashtag Alicia. I didn't see it if you did. Or maybe you can see on your side. Kelly Jones said she erupted like a volcano today. Oh, I see Jen. Jen was before Sarah, it looks like, on my end. Okay. So Jen, Sarah, Teddy, Michelle. That's so funny because... Okay. I'm going to show you my list that I had of names I picked before we decided to do a hashtag that I hadn't had a chance to say yet. And then I'm going to show you the list of the hashtag. So the top one, I don't know if you can see that or not. Is my list. And oh, I can't list see. Okay, so my list is Jenny, Sarah, Michelle. And then the list that we have going down with the hashtag is Jen, Sarah, Teddy, and Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Jones is calling Alicia out. Uh, hello, you didn't hashtag? Like, what's up with that? Hashtag. <laughs> you know, what? Excuse me, I got to get. My computer plugged in. Kelly Jones on the list. All right, we got room for one more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nope, that's it. We're full. Five, 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 five. One, two, three, four. Kelly five, Jones, five, are you five, hashtagging? Five, <laughs> are you hashtagging for Alicia yourself? All right. Oh, I think I said something about my earrings. Thank you, love. Aren't they beautiful? Did you make those? Uh, I did not make these ones, but I am making some like them. Speaking of, I need to get I actually got a whole bunch of these I'm drilling holes into for my next set. Nice. Yeah. You know you got first pick. Stay tuned, guys. I, I need to get my, my order that I got already. <laughs> guys, I've got a whole order already in for her that'll be on the page oh, here soon. So. Mr. and Blue Child's like, ooh, ooh, Cleveland's showing, but I think she meant cleavage. <laughs> We miss you too. We need to have like a big party. I know, right? We need to do like another everyone get together. We do. We do. We do. Yes, we need a group chat soon. I agree, girl. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so Miss Jen, Jenny is up first. Yes, Jen's up first. Jen's up first. Jen, Jen. You know these priestesses? They're just they're they're like yeah, we're not done. They're on fire. They're like literally hot. <laughs> hot babe. Well, it's the and I'm I'm sitting in front of the air conditioning, but even having them right now, like I feel flush. Did you see the picture of Kwan Yin in the sky yesterday? I posted after the meditation. That rainbow. Yeah. Can you believe that? I was like, hello. If that's not all this beautiful, and then well, and then did you see um, Kelly Partridge posted the clouds? And they look like eagles. I missed that one. Not yet. Nope. I got to go. I can't even see. Do you see? Do you see what's happening? Do you see what's happening? I'm just saying. Do you see? Do you see? Crazy. <laughs> Slid in at the last second. Made it to the list. <laughs> Slid in. Oh, Teddy, you know you're always on the list. <laughs> okay, Miss jo Ooh, Jen. Well, now this is interesting because, okay, so in the beginning, right, we were talking about how it's like a girl's night, right? But we're like masculine and feminine, right? Like everyone's got it, all inclusive. Okay, so let's, uh, apparently the, the divine masculine wanted to come in and just kind of give us a little more insight as to just how balanced we really are, okay? Electric, active, Power. And first of all, it's an eight. Okay. And then eights are abundance for all, right? Like, so let's listen to what he has to say. I know, like, right, listening to a dude. Are you kidding? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Like, let's just listen to what he has to say because we know that the divine masculine and the divine feminine reside within, within us all. Okay? We just choose to spend a little more time on one or the other. So this is the card of Osiris, which is weird because I had a dog as a child named Osiris. He had one green eye and one blue eye. It was an Aust Australian Shepherd. He was an amazing dog. Amazing. But anyway, <laughs> Divine Masculine, Master of Resurrection. And here we are talking about death and rebirth, right? He heralds a time of active, creative energy in your life. He fuses his own inner light with the powerful and eternal vibration of universal consciousness. Jen, if this isn't signifying you, girl, because you do have this amazing way of bridging your intuitive power and really like sharing the wealth, spreading your knowledge and your love and intention to the world, girl. You are being congratulated with this card right now. Uh, the hawk, oh my gosh, and now there's a hawk. There sure is. Oh my word. There is a hawk, okay? Uh, that sits on his shoulders, has a strong life force and intense energy. This card indicates that you are entering this field of expansive energy at this time. In flight, the hawk has great vision and the ability to communicate with the spirit of creation. And this is an important message for you. You are moving into a time of great creative and productive energy. So let yourself consider what project or activity is calling to your soul, whether it's a new business, a novel, or a work of art. Now is the time to focus on this type of endeavor. Your own resonance vibrates with an absolutely electric connection with the universal inspiration and accelerated action. In fact, you may emerge from this time feeling not only reinvigorated, but reinvented. Ooh, if that didn't give you chills, girl. Oh my goodness. Like, I seriously, I don't know. You guys, I don't know if you can see that or not, but literally goosebumps and tears all over my body. Honey girl, there is an affirmation that goes with this card. And it says, as I connect with the creative force in the universe, my own creativity expands and thrives. And girl, you are creative. You have so much creative energy within you. Your ideas are expansive. I mean, I, I still, I can, to this day, I cannot tell you how much I love the bracelet that I received from you. Your love and the intention of just purity that you put into that bracelet. I feel it every time I put it on to this day, Jen. To this day, that is how powerful you are. Little Jen, little Jenny as far as that. That is how powerful you are, girl. Your intention exceeds time and space. So she commented while you were connecting and sharing and i love it because you're so on point with what you're taught and like so she said i had an out of body experience it was so beautiful i seen jesus and archangel raphael purple hearts purple hearts i'm getting ready to make a public group spiritual page thank you so much oh my word so you see the dominoes effect that you're having in the planet, Jen, by doing this, right? There's these dominoes in the lighting up. It's so beautiful. Thank you. For it's being incredible. Here. Thank you for being here. Wow. I Thank you for allowing us to read for you, Jen. Yeah. Or me anyway. Jamaica hasn't even done it. <laughs> I'm just not. We're going. We're, we're tag team. And I'm like, we're just taking turns. I'm like, I'm just in here getting to watch the fireworks. And this, is, this is how you manifest right oh, here, you guys. This is how you manifest. You just have coffee delivered. There you, oh, man. I need I to I live with you. Without name? saying a word, my you know, husband. just my highest self is like, hey, we need to align and get this bitch some caffeine. <laughs> where's, where's mine? 
I hear the angels. We don't make some. No. Thank you, universe. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt Kelly. <laughs> okay. So we have up on deck, though, the beautiful Miss Moonchild. Miss Moonchild. I love you. I love you. Miss <laughs> Moonchild. Me, I don't have any face on it. Oh, you're fine. Oh, I just got busy before I had to go to work today, and I didn't get a chance to call you before, but I'll, I'll call you tomorrow. I have a day off. <laughs> okay, she's going to call you tomorrow. You want me? I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to get some Moonchild. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go back and read some comments real quick. I'm getting ready to. Oh, okay, that was hers. Oh, I love it. It's Kelly Partridge in the house. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, Kelly. I was just talking about your cloud pictures. They were like blowing my mind earlier. Pop in right after you said it, and I didn't want to interrupt you, but I was like, "Look at the magic!" Oh my god! You have to call Kelly Partridge. <laughs> Hello, Priscilla. Welcome, sister. Welcome. See, like, even Kelly Jones says, every time I touch my necklace from Jen, I start trembling from the energy and love. It goes around my urn when I transition. Like, come on, Jenny, I my girl, my beautiful soul sister. Oh, and Priscilla is in the house. Hello, my beautiful soul sister. So good to see you. So oh, and Miss Kelly Partridge. Right, I know. Mwah. 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 All right, Miss Sarah Moonchild. Pick one or two. I'm going to leave this in your ball court because so much is wanting to come through for you, my dear. Literally, like, like, yeah, so much. But I'm going to tame it down because I'm hearing, like, no, just give her a little... Give her little tidbits, little something to nibble on. She gets a little something. Number two. <laughs> Did I see that? Number two. Okay. <laughs> Your inner child's calling. Inner child calling much, Miss uh, Moonchild? Actually, I've been seeing you this summer. You have been tapping into that inner child. I've been seeing your post, and it's been looking like you're, you're having some fun. The unicorns. The unicorns were calling. Ooh, she says I want three. Unicorns were coming, okay? I want three. You're so funny. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> so, just an FYI, it was between the Ascended Masters and the Unicorns. So even though you did pick the Unicorns, I do feel strongly, too, that it's just kind of a nudge for you that the, and you know this, I know you know this, that you work with those Ascended Masters um, or they're wanting to work with you and even more. And so they're really bringing you into um, just a reminder that this inner child work is bringing you into alignment to do the big guns work, right? Like being that inner child is connecting you to that higher vibration to that deeper understanding of who you are to understanding how to master yourself your own energy right now so that you can come into alignment with these beautiful energies that are working with you if you will so let's see what the unicorns have for you Oh, she says, what? Wahoo! Flying cards. Flying cards. Flying cards. She says, that's exactly the plan, sisters. <laughs> All right, so you have two cards that came flying out. Okay. And this is why it is coming in, because like I said, they're acknowledging and saying, yes, you have been, you're doing it. You're tapping in. Okay. So the first card coming up is magic. Look at that. I want to hold that up so you can see that beautiful card, that beautiful unicorn. And really the ability to see the magic in the universe, right? That's what tapping into that inner child is about, is the ability 
to truly see through the BS, even in the midst of everybody around us saying, are you crazy? Have you lost it? But no, because you're in this different understanding, you see that magic, you know, right? But right now, you're still a little bit in that old pattern. And it's so on point with what's happening energetically in the stars and the planets, right? Of letting go of those old beliefs. And that's what you tapping into this inner child is doing, is tapping into these, letting go of the new stuff so that you are now literally transforming that old pattern that said magic is not real. Magic does not exist. Who do you think you are? to believe in magic and to think that you could actually be a magical being who do you think you are that's that pattern that you are literally breaking the chains free of right so that you can come into seeing it right side up to literally seeing that you are so powerful that all you do is make a wish and like that it's done and accepting that because you're seeing it. You're at that point right now where you see it, but it's so powerful. You're like, I see it, but not yet. I see it, but not yet. Ah, no. Okay. You're teeter tottering. Okay. And that's okay. Just keep, keep tapping into that inner child and doing what you're doing and seeing the synchronicity, seeing the magic. We may not hold up. Look, there's the little fairy showing up in this, right? Butterflies, dragonflies, any of the flying creatures that are you see even in our 3D world, these are all reminders of that magic. See through the illusion, right? We see just butterflies and yellow jackets. <laughs> but aren't those the fairies? Like, let's think about that. They're like, tap into their energy. Super I love that, because Hazel, yeah. she even was like, Mom, Mom, I saw the coolest butterfly, but I'd never seen a butterfly like that before. And it turns out it was a grasshopper. <laughs> right? Like, the, like hey. Hey. right? And, and who's to say he's just a grasshopper? She said, all summer, I got kissed by a bee the other day. Well, you know. that I got kissed by a bee today, Sarah. Right here next to my ear, man. Boom. It kind of scared me a little bit because he was really loud about it. And like in my face. And I was like, bro, like, can you back off a little bit? But then he just like got right here. And it was just because, you know, you have like the hair, the little hairs right here. And so like his hairs like tickled my hairs. And it was just like. Kind of sweet in a way. Aww, it was just sweet. Yeah. Me, like magic. Wait, I'm pretty sure that that's magic you guys are talking about right there. If you stop and you pause and you. I love it. See the magic. See, just use that imagination. Use well, that. Well, and I love that there's a lot of that throat chakra blue in that card mm -hmm. because what does that do for us, right? Like, we know that our hands are an extension of our throat chakra and our hands are direct reflections of our creative abilities right so what can you do with your hands to excite that creative juice within you that connects with your inner child so something that maybe you used to love doing as a kid you know even if it's just finger painting sarah you're into painting just do your hands just smush the paint with your hands and feel the textures and like rub it into the canvas so you feel the ridges of the canvas you know like get messy with it get crazy with it but just allow that part of you to shine again and i think you're gonna find a lot of like cool stuff happens after that yes and why is this important oh you know because it's your way to freedom Literally, this, you know, like, what's your assignment in the world to right now? You know, to be a kid, tap into your kids. If you want to be free, if you want the happiness, you want the prosperity, you want the joy, you need to chase the child. Wow. Chase the child and you will fly, my sister. Literally wow. fly. Miss Sarah says, ha ha, you don't want to know. You're such a dork. Oh, girl, as soon as I see that, I'm like, oh, I already, I got it. I don't know. I already know. I already know. Freedom, freedom. I said freedom. She's like, oh, my God, freedom, freedom. I said freedom. Right. 
I see my sister Jamie in the house. Hey, girl. Hey. What's up, dear sister? Okay, so that was for you. Hopefully that's helpful, my beautiful sister. Oh! Give me a little. Okay, Teddy, Teddy. I lost my pen already. Only I can lose a pin and not move out of my seat. That's magic. See the magic? I make shit disappear. <laughs> like that. <laughs> the reason why JW DMV paperwork is so slow is blame it on Marge Simpson, Sister Patty, and <laughs> some I had their booming, looming smoke break. <laughs> Yeah, they were holding me up. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Oh Eddie. my God, that's so Thank funny. You, Teddy, I love it. I love it. Oh, Teddy, Teddy. You are so funny, my dude. All right. You know, the priestess of the light want to hang out, even though it's a Teddy reading. So, you know, because I mean, come on, right? Like, you got to have a little bit of masculinity to be this badass priestess warrior. All right. So. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Let's see. Again, with this card, I, you guys, like, I don't think I did. I don't think I read it all the way. Did I read it all the way? I don't think I read it all the way. This is nut jobs. I'm gonna make a copy. Nope. This is it. This I did not. Yes, I did. <laughs> Okay, so Teddy, we're back to card 42, Wings of Light, sweetie. All right, so when this card appears, make sure you take note of which others are laid out on each side, it says. So what I'm going to do for you, Teddy, is we're going to figure out what else is going on with this, right? So we got a lot of wisdom coming in for you. Okay, so your Wings of Light, you're becoming something new is a direct result of you gaining wisdom and seeking that higher truth within you. Learning how to find the joy when all seems hopeless, Teddy. This is one of your biggest lessons in life, is that no matter what BS you are going through or what belief systems have been put upon you, your wisdom is yours. Your life is yours. Your journey is yours. And you will find your joy if you choose to. This is big because this is like our happiness, okay? Happiness only comes from within. And it is the wisdom that we know that, that we can find joy in other things. Okay, because joy doesn't necessarily mean happiness. Okay, joy is more of this, this feeling you get when you are a part of something, when you start doing things for you, when you start doing things that you feel align with your being, with your heart center. So the affirmation that goes with this card says that I open up to the light and inner power of my true eternal self. I am willing to change, to make new choices and move in new directions. So if you are still finding yourself fixated on past things, people, situations, what have you, Teddy, it is time to take those things and move forward. All right. So figure out what is holding you back in certain situations and then learn what you can do to overcome that fear to hurdle yourself over those past belief systems that kept you stuck. Because you're not stuck, Teddy. It is an illusion. An illusion that you have believed in for far too long. Unstick yourself. <laughs> unstuck, unstuck. I am a Punisher fan badass just like mike you are you absolutely are a badass but when are you actually gonna believe it when are you actually gonna start taking those those actions 
to prove to the universe that you are willing to move forward and to elevate your life. Take those steps, Teddy. Michelle says, love the swans. Absolutely. Michelle, since that came up for you, I would encourage you to look up the swan, my dear. Right. Find out what that message means for you. There's always a sign. I love that. Teddy says soon. Teddy, in the great words of Master Yoda, right? There is no try. I love it. Miss <laughs> Kelly's right on point. Right? I love that saying. We are reprogramming. Reprogram that pre-program. Love it. Yes, that is fantastic. All right, my beautiful Michelle, you're up. And I lost my pen, so that must mean after Kelly that, like, we get no more. I don't know. I can't find my pen, and that must mean it's time to call. Oh, it. shoot. <laughs> um, I will go back in and check while you are doing, Michelle. Okay. Kelly Jones after that. Kelly Jones. Okay. And then I don't have a pen to write down to anybody else. So I, I got I got her down. I got her down. Oh looky there, you guys got saved by Mary Jo and her pen. <laughs> Maybe now my pen doesn't want to work. <laughs> See, I was like, I think it's time to call it after that. I think it's <laughs> I'm feeling tired. I feel like I'm like I'm at my I've hit, I've hit my peak. All right. This works. I got it. I got it. Oh, Miss Michelle, the dragons are coming in. My beautiful sister. I don't know if I have a seen. I gotta go open the door one second. All right, my beautiful sister. Well, the dragons are coming in. And they're one letting you know that they really have got you. And then she's like, I love the dragons. Yeah. And they love you back. They truly, truly love you back. They are fully, fully supporting you right now. The first card coming in for you is resilience and it's literally talking about pressing yourself this is the card i'm going to hold it up again so you can see these this beautiful dragon right with this beautiful warrior goddess and here you are like pushing those limits pushing yourself as far as you can pushing that just really pushing yourself to the peak of like, you know, how far can we push ourselves? What can we let go of? What can we endure? How can we see things in a new way? Really challenging yourself though. This is like the limits of challenging yourself and looking within, doing that work, of loving the dragons. And then literally they're coming in and saying that you are redefining yourself right now. The reason these limits are being pushed, the reason that you are feeling this and letting go is because you're, it's literally like rebirthing. And look at this, literally, like if that is not that same dragon transforming literally into that beautiful unicorn type, look at the difference wow. of the transformation, redefining from this to this, that energy. And that's literally what you are doing doing right now and you doing that beautiful you're such a powerful being that as you're doing this work the collective shift that's happening because of that holy crap did you see that nope just me okay huge flash just got this huge flash as i was even saying that wow um <laughs> 
is just making big shifts, big, big, big shifts. So thank you. Thank you for defining yourself and transforming yourself and doing the work you're doing, my beautiful sister. And know that the dragons have got you. They're supporting you and loving you. And keep it up. I love you. I hope that's helpful for you. Teddy, I'm, we're bouncing back and forth, sweetheart. You know my feedback. You always got support. <laughs> you know, come on. Come on. That's why we're going back and forth, back and forth. So, um, all right. I know. I just lost all my comments, too. Oh, oh see, as I'm telling you, Spirit's like, okay, this is the, this is the end, ladies and gentlemen. We have Miss Kelly Jones up next, and then that's our five. Unless okay, anybody, perfect. Once a VIP, but other than that, I think that I'm ready to call it after that because I've worked all day in the magic crystal cave of wonders, but, and that's why I think I was still like, I needed to come home and like, right. kind of ride the wave of the beautiful energy and share it. But now I'm like, okay, I'm unwound. I got to come home and unwind. And, you know, how fun is that? I get to, this is my unwind. Ooh, we're done. Wind. Love it. You were charged up. Yep. Love you. Mwah. All right. So it is for Kelly Jones. Our beautiful Miss Kelly Jones. So weird. You can see the comments kind of like turned off or something. That's weird. It's spirit. It's not weird. Why would I even think it was weird? That's not weird. It's spirit. It's spirit. It's take care of business. I just, I, mean. I just used all my creamer, though. That means I got to go to the store tonight so I can have coffee in the morning or else. Ooh, now this is interesting, Miss Kelly Jones. This is bad news for me. This is uh, okay. This is gonna get big, Miss Kelly Jones. Okay, just just stick with me, girl. All right. Are you ready? Buckle up. Like I said, I can't see any comments, so this is gonna be interesting how this goes. Uh, but my girl, all right, just take a deep breath. All right, we're gonna just. Let it in, super in. Okay, let it completely expand your lungs and then push it out, okay? Because there is a lot you are harboring within you right now, okay? Like, my throat chakra and my heart chakra is literally buzzing. Like, there is a vibration of stuck energy. Like, it's going to cause me to lose my voice right now. Um, you know, this is not. really interesting. Okay. First off, the first thing I see in this card is this owl and he's got this freaking gaze, man. Like he is, it's giving me goosebumps. It is like staring into your soul. Like you fucking know better. Okay. That is what I like. I seriously, these goosebumps are going away. Like, that is the, the feeling I'm getting from this owl. So I'm just going to let you look at him. Okay. He's just standing right behind her, just freaking gazing, man. Okay. Like, that is an intense stare. But then look at her also. Okay. Now, she, she looks very focused. All right, so I want you to keep these key words in mind, intense and focused. Because this card stands for loss, lack, fear, and victimization. Stick with me, okay? The woman on this card stands alone in anxious judgment of her life. She focuses on past losses and assumes there are more to come. With her fan of owl feathers, she attempts to shield herself from potential hurts. Remember, I was talking about the protection mechanism earlier. Yet the owl on her shoulder sees right through her darkness 
and guides her out of her fear and lack consciousness. The message of this card is clear. No matter what kind of loss you've experienced in the past, it is absolutely necessary to shift your focus now and redefine your power. You are no longer the victim of a threatening world, frightened and unable to direct your own destiny. In fact, since your consciousness creates your reality, this assumption only keeps your energy stuck. The owl encourages you to leave your victim mentality behind and to see the truth of your eternal courage and power. When loss comes up in your life, let yourself grieve. But don't define yourself by that experience. Be willing to take charge and set your sights on real solutions and new directions. When you take action and view your life with optimism and self-honoring intentions, you become the director of, rather than the victim of, your own life. This empowered approach may seem strange to you, and you may not fully trust yourself yet, but this card is telling you that you no longer have to live in darkness, isolation, and fear. Whew, it's like making me cry right now. Sorry. Wow. It is time to let go of old patterns of people pleasing and passive acceptance of others' agendas. It is time to take your rightful place as a powerful presence in your world. The affirmation says, and I'll read it twice, this is huge. I let go of feelings of fear and lack. It is safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me. Holy shitballs, Batman, okay? I let go of feelings of fear and lack. It is safe for me to stand up and make choices that empower me. Woo. That's card number 34, by the way. Talk about in with a bang and out with a bang. Y'all know how to do a show around here. I'll tell you. I'm telling you. Yeah. We know how to. Way to answer the call, folks. Way to answer the call. I still can't see comments, so I have no idea what's going on. Well, uh, I don't know now. I, I'm not great with those abbreviation things, but Kelly Jones put capital S T F U. So Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, there you go. Wow. Uh, uh, wish I could have, but I couldn't. Miss <laughs> uh, uh, Charlene is in the house and said, It's good to see you ladies back. Hello, Charlene. Oh, hello, Charlene. And then, um, let's see here. Think. Oh, Kelly said, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> so oh, shit. I'm dead. And then Teddy said, and I get sick like a head cold and stiffness. My nose is stopped up and retrogrades. And when the season change, it is, is that normal? His head gets stopped up and stiffness in his, or stuffiness in his nose around the retrogrades. Is that normal? That His headspace crazy. gets stuffy. Yeah, I'm like. So yeah. that's because he's supposed to be going within and cleaning out the closet. He's not cleaning out the closet. That's what he's I got too say. much junk in the trunk. Doesn't matter if it's in a retrograde or not, but if you're noticing it during the retrograde, absolutely, then it's definitely right. like. Right, and that's I think that's a common misconception is people are always like, "Oh, retrogrades, use them, use them. Yeah. They're they're a tool like everything else. Use them." Exactly. Use that energy. 
So yeah, yeah I, tr I tried refreshing and everything, but I'm still not seeing comments, guys. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Well, we have somebody that's a Facebook user that says, hello, ladies. Good to see you back. Hello. But I don't know who you are, Facebook user, because it's not telling us. It's just saying user. So but hello, regardless. Full <laughs> gamut, but hello. <laughs> but we're happy to be back. Yay. Right. <laughs> Breathe, oh Kelly. my goodness, you guys. Exactly, what a breathe, night. Breathe. breathe, Kelly, breathe. I love it. It's true. Breathe, just breathe. You guys, let me tell you something. Let's just think about something for a second. Just, just for a second. We are on a giant floating rock hurling through space and we're one of billions of galaxies that exist within billions of galaxies that exist we're a cell we are a tiny little cell we are a microism literally the within the macro nothing happening is that big of a deal right now really think about it in the big scheme isn't that funny we call it the big scheme of things big scheme because it's all an illusion it's, it's, <laughs> everything is perfectly on point like who do we think we are <laughs> say Remember who we are. Stop thinking who do we think we are. Let's remember who we are. That's right. I challenge. There's... Yes, and I am. We have the opportunity right now. That's what this energy is about. That's what these going within. That's what clearing this stuff away. That's what having the physical reactions, having the emotional reactions, having the spiritual reactions to these energies is about well and learning to take those reactions and transforming them into actions <laughs> like you're having a reaction in order to obtain an action you guys if you're feeling a certain way figure out why <laughs> Yes, exactly. Instead of trying to pretend we don't feel certain ways, and right? You know, like they, it's time to go within them. That's what facing the shadow is: facing the fears, not pretending we don't have them. Right. Shoving them down, pretending they don't exist, but turning into them, knowing that as the light, which that's what you are. Right. Your pure light, your pure love. That's what you are, whether you realize it or not. I know it for you. <laughs> right. Time to start acting like it. That's what you are. <laughs> So turn into it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Use it. Love it. All right, guys. Well, I think that we're going to definitely be back doing this on a regular basis. We just haven't, you know, locked it in yet. But it's, it's universe has it. Again, universe already knows. <laughs> I just heard my new daily thing is like I get up and I'm just like, okay, spirit, you just guide me. Which way are we going? What are we doing? Those synchronicities. Right. The the writing, you know, like there's a scheme, a big plan that if I just get out of the way, yeah, the magic I see happen every day. Seriously. Today, I got to meet one of my favorite artists today in person. Right? Like how cool is that? And then find out his daughter has the same name I do. What? What's the same name? What? Not magic. That's what? What it is, right? Things like that happen to me every day, though, now. Every day. Right. And, and it happens for all of us. I'm not special. It's there for every single one of us, but it's the fact that we're conscious and aware of it and looking for it. That's the difference. Right. Looking for the magic in your life. Are you? Dude, we just, we, we got to start honoring our process, you know? Like, we each have one, you guys. And it's, it's so important because... Like, I'm not going to say that you miss out on things, but you block them and like, it just, you, it takes longer for them to happen for you. You know what I mean? Like your eternal abundance is just that. Like it's your divine inheritance. It's there regardless. Okay. All of your good shit is literally waiting for you. 
but it's because you put other things in front of yourself that it takes that much longer for your abundance to see you, to reach you. So stop putting things in front of you and start acting like you know what that inheritance is. Like you know whatever it is, the universe has your back. So what do you have to be afraid of? What kind of Take man? that leap. Choose that courage over your fears and watch what happens. Magic, 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 magic. Or miracles or yeah. whatever you want to call it. Coincidence. <laughs> Coincidences. Serendipity. Serendipities. <laughs> God calls, company <laughs> booze. I don't care what you call it, it's the same thing. It's all the same thing. It's all the same. It's all good, right? <laughs> all right, guys, we love you. Love you, Michelle. She said goodbye. She had to jump and bounce out. Oh, yeah, I can't see any comments, but I love you guys. Thank you so much. When we're back, when we're back pop up, pay attention. I don't know, you'll see. Pop up, baby. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.